The infinitive to is used after certain verbs like remember, feel, reviews, promise, like, decide, begin, forget, try, hate, attempt, propose, learn, manage, agree, sin. For example, I remember to lock the door this morning. He likes to tease his little sister. They have promised to help us finish the work. Remember is a certain verb that is used after, uh, before infinitive to. So infinitive to is used after the certain verb remember. The same with to tease, it is used after the certain verb likes. Bare infinitive. We use the infinitive, but we don't write out the to. So infinitive without to. For example, it is used with the excuse me, it is used with the verbs of sensation like see, hear, feel. For example, I hear someone open the door just now. I saw him leave the door secretly. He found something crawl down his neck. No one noticed the girl slip out of the room. So the verb of sensation here followed by bare infinitive open. Now the verb plus object plus infinitive. So we must insert object before the infinitive too. She told me to put it over there. We insert the object me between the verb for and the infinitive too. Her mother allows her to cook in the kitchen. I want you to follow my instructions strictly. I tell him not to answer those letters. So all the verb like calls, arouse, wants, and he and one is inserted with the object me, her, and you before the infinitive to. The same with him. But this time we plus the negator, the, the negator not. After the, the object him, we put the infinitive to answer. It is uh, inserted by the negator not. Infinitive is used with the verbs like a make and let. I made him work. This is causative sentence. Please don't let anybody know. They made us wait for hours. Don't we don't let them wander around the place. Please don't let anybody know I'm here. So the infinitive you the infinitive to is used without to. The, uh, the bare infinitive is used with the causative made and let. Infinitive is used with the words how, where when and what so the infinitive is used with the question word do you know how to measure it please tell me where to post this parcel this will show you when to apply the pressure she can't she can't decide what to wear to the party so the infinitive after the question word now the infinitive is used with the noun or pronoun the noun is brass here, the pronoun is him, so she needs a brass to paint the room. We put the noun before infinitive to. She called him to paint the room. We put the pronoun before the infinitive to. It, it wants something to eat. They have nothing to do except sleep. The teacher has a lot of notebooks to mark. Infinitive is used after the certain adjective, like sorry, dangerous, courageous, hot. I'm sorry to hear that you can't come. It's dangerous to skate on thin ice. It was courageous of him to leave to save the child. The tea is too hot to drink now. So the adjective before the infinitive too.